Hi, so you are tired replacing this battery, a cordless drill battery, because it has small capacity and cannot run long enough and you need to replace it using spare battery and wait until this one charge up. So I have a solution for you. Before we start, let's talk about what will you gonna need. First thing is your battery and another battery. I'm gonna using spare batteries because I'm gonna make it more capacity. And also DC to DC boost converter like this one. This is small, very small. And it says the current can up to 3 amps, but I'm not sure. Also, the project box like this. And if you want to add some DC jack for the output, so you can run electricity out from the battery. So you just connect DC jack into it like that. And I'm gonna using this jack. And if you have more batteries, you can add three more lithium batteries. But I only have two of these, so I'm gonna using six batteries. First thing, what you will gonna do? You need to place the batteries. This is the fake battery and I'm not gonna use this. And this is just for example. You can see on here, you can fit three batteries like this. And you can add three more batteries onto this. This one is dead and this one cannot be used anymore. So I'm gonna use it for example. You can see on here, it still barely fit on this box, only a few millimeters, but it can be closed. You see that? It can be closed. If you want to add more batteries, just put it on. This DC to DC boost converter I needed for charging the battery so I can charge my battery using micro USB and I don't worry for the ori original adapter because it's already broken. For this DC to DC boost converter, I set it on 12.6 volts. You can see on here 12.6 volts from 5 volt so you can charge the battery using micro usb input and it's pretty come in handy if you don't have electricity you can just charge it using power banks and let's solder everything up
It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Huh? Apa lagi anji? Huh? Apa lagi anji? Okay, I just buy another three uh, step up model because this one is already broken, and I also remo removing the voltmeter on my motorcycle. This is the small one, and I will install this DC jack into the battery. Maybe it gonna be useful on the future. I don't know. Alright guys, I hope you learned something and don't do what I do. Thanks to my Patreon supporter, you are always supporting me no matter what I do. And thanks to my subscriber who always watching my video always. And if you like this video, don't forget to hit like button. And if you dislike this video, don't forget to hit that dislike button. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so see you on the next video